the reason for developing this program and uh, developing Guesha is that we recognize that primary care and primary care health professionals need support to improve the quality of care we provide to people affected by cancer. The way we're trying to do this is by developing support, guidance, education and resources to help primary care health care professionals know what the needs of our patients are and give them the right tools to meet those needs. We're also working on building up a closer relationship between primary care and secondary care so that we can make things more joined up and make the care we provide more effective and efficient. But we're also looking at the long term and how we can make sure that any improvements we make over the next few years are sustained in the long term by developing a community of practice of interested professionals in primary care and community setting who can support cancer care in the long term. One of the main areas of focus is around diagnosis of cancer and getting earlier diagnosis of cancer. And what we're doing is again providing guidance and education and information for GPs and other professionals about how to spot symptoms of cancer and how to spot the patients who need investigating. Bearing in mind that quite often it's difficult to pick those patients up because although we think of cancer having very specific barn door symptoms, that isn't always the case. Sometimes the symptoms and the presentation can be very vague. So we're looking at ways of how we can help GPs spot those patients with vague symptoms. But also what we're doing is once the GP has a suspicion of cancer, we're working on systems to help them investigate those patients promptly, such as setting up vague symptom clinics or rapid diagnosis centres. Then we look at what happens to the person after they've had their cancer treatment in the long term. We recognise that probably for us in primary care, we're not always the best at recognising that people who have been cured of cancer that they still have some issues and problems in the long term, either because of their cancer or because of the treatment they had. So some of our nursing team are looking at developing the use of a holistic needs assessment in primary care to help identify what our patients' issues and needs. And only by identifying those needs can we then look at how we solve them.